Hi guys, welcome to another video and welcome to Morzine. So a few weeks ago I mentioned in a video that I wanted to go to the Alps and it was looking pretty impossible because of various reports in the media saying French are going to impose some sort of tit for tat retaliation on the isolation period which just meant coming to France was not really something that was possible. So I kind of settled on um, doing a bit of a Scotland trip and then on Monday this week, it's currently Thursday I think, um, I was looking at the weather in Scotland, planning to set off on Wednesday and yeah, it just looked awful. And then I checked out the weather in Morzine and it looked great. And there were no retaliation on the uh, quarantine or anything so I figured hey, let's just book it and go. So I booked it, Tuesday night drove down to Dover, got a train across and then Wednesday drove down to Morzine and here I am now. So yeah, the weather is uh, pretty stunning. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning, sun's out, the mountains are behind me and in front of me and just everywhere. And, um, and it's about, probably about 17 degrees at the moment. It hit almost 30 yesterday in the day. So yeah, it's beautiful. So uh, just been out to get some cash because I came with no money and now I'm just walking back to the apartment got an Airbnb for about 10 days and we'll see where we go from there so yeah we'll uh, go back to the apartment now I'll show you my route for today and then yeah get on with the bike ride so just sat on the balcony now this is my view which is pretty pretty stunning I think uh, Leggett's is somewhere over there um, Okay, so yeah, this is the route. Sorry for showing it in such a crappy way. Um, this is on my laptop, obviously. And yep, so we're here in Mozine. So we're gonna go to Col de Juplan, uh, which is this, climb here. Um, which yeah, you can see is just kind of steady away. The only downside is we're starting on the climb, so there's gonna be no warm up. Which is uh, pretty, pretty brutal. Um, and a shame, really. Didn't really think about that when I booked Morzine as the location. <laughs> but there's a lot of other climbs around here. There. Then we'll descend. Um, then we will come back. But before we come back, there's this sort of like small climb here, which looks interesting. It, it just goes from Simone's, just, just sort of up into a dead end kind of valley. But it's supposed to be a bit of a viewpoint, I think, up here. So we'll go up there while we're there. Um, and then we'll come back the same way because that's a, a one-way road and then rather than go back on the main climb we'll go back to uh, head back towards the main road and take the main road over uh, over the pretty pretty brutal just climb just coming over the hill into Morzine. Um so yeah that's the route for today it's only 49 miles but it's nearly 7,000 feet pulling more when you actually get out there because it always seems to underestimate on ride with GPS. Okay so I'm going to get the bike ready now because I'm actually running really behind and um, set off and do some filming on the way. So we're about eight kilometers from Mozzie now and we are at the top of the uh, ski lift, uh, Leggeds I think it's pronounced. So this is the ski lift that I think is the one you can see from my apartment, you can see the bottom of it. So this has taken ages, um, it is steep, <laughs> it's way um, steeper than anything I've done before I think. Um, I think the Rock of Cobb is the only thing anywhere near this that I've done. Uh, there's these little mile markers we've just gone past um, kilometre three. Um, it's just over 10 kilometres the climb uh, and they tell you how steep it's going to be for the next kilometre. It's like pretty common through Europe for these two to be sort of on popular climbs. Um, although normally the um, average gradient for the next section is a little bit on the high side I've always found whereas here it's pretty much a minimum I've not seen my wahoo dip below them figures they give pretty much for the whole time apart from this little flat bit that was pretty easy um, so yeah the views are stunning there were some really nice views over Morzine but it was pretty steep so I didn't want to stop there so yeah like three kilometers less than three kilometers to go now to the top then we descend uh, so this next section has an average gradient of 10 percent so I'm feeling duty bound to stop again and film. It's about a kilometre since I last stopped. Turns out it wasn't a 10% incline, it was 10% average decline um, before the incline started again, but it's only really light now, like 5%. But yeah, these are the views, but I should stop and 
grab a little uh, grab a little shot of it. Okay, so we just stopped here for a, a quick coffee. Uh, and that meant we got to have this as a view, absolutely stunning. And then we're going to cycle and descend all the way down here for about seven miles, I think, something like that. And I'm going to put the camera on the bike for that. Okay, descent over, we're now in the town of Simones, um, which is the other side of the, uh, the call, um, yeah, which is the other side of the call to Mozzie. So now we're going to go up that second little sort of vantage point peak, which is just going to be an up and down, um, and then we'll roll home. We're only like 12 miles into this 50 mile ride, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a great descender, but that was actually a really nice descent, really, um, kind of sweep in and felt really safe even even though there was like no barriers on the edge even less in Spain it still felt really safe um, so that was good and the bike performed really well as well um, I've just stopped now because I'm at the bottom and I'm overheating as I am wearing this jacket so yeah let's get this jacket off let's go up this next vantage point uh, this next sort of little climb and see what it's like this next little climb would be it's, I keep saying little it's only little compared to the one we've just done it would probably be an epic climb in the UK. Um, so yeah, let's go explore it. Okay, so we just got to the vantage point that was on Google Maps and I didn't really know what to expect. I've done very little planning um, of the ride. Turns out this is what the vantage point was looking at. So yeah, you've got this Le Cascade de Rouget, I think. It's an amazing waterfall and just amazing mountain scenery. So yeah, pretty spectacular. Um, the road's getting pretty rough though, uh, but I think this is as far as we're coming up, just to see what this, uh, this viewpoint was about, and yeah, well worth it. Well worth the journey. So I'm just on the climb back to Morsi now, I uh, stopped to add a coke, and um, by this really nice little place where there was sort of like a bit of a sports centre, and um, a bar and stuff, so that was cool. Um, the weather is still amazing, and it turns out there's like this Alpine, Alpine, Renault Alpine, Renault Alpina rally on at the moment. Um, and there's so many Alpinas out, it's more than I ever even knew they sold, because they're mostly new ones. And um, I just got a classic one there on film. There's been so many coming down the mountain from Morzine, I'm hoping I can catch some more before I set off again. Okay, here they come. Oh, just free this time. So there's an Alpine at the back there and I don't know about, there's a Porsche, I don't know if there's two rallies going on. Because there were also loads of classic Porsches as well um, at the start before all the Alpines but I figured they were just kind of with them for the, you know, for the rally. Um, I'll have to check that out when I get home. But yeah, it's really cool. There's so many classic cars and, and new cool cars about. Okay, I can't wait around here any longer. I feel like I missed most of them anyway. So I'm going to carry on the climb. I'm going to go over the top here. Drop down to Morzine, find a restaurant, have something to eat. Okay. And just before I set off, they all come around the corner. But yeah, like just that group, which is a fraction of the amount I've seen in total is like so many. You, I don't think I've actually seen one in real life in the UK and they're just so common. But I guess it's a rally, but they all seem to be on French plates pretty much, which makes sense. Okay, 
gonna actually get on with it now. Okay, I'm back in Mosey now. Just had a, uh, a baguette in the bakery over there. I'll put a picture on the screen now. And now just finishing off my beer here at the bar before I uh, go back to the room. So yeah, I'm gonna go back, have a shower, um, and then think about what I'm gonna do for this evening's meal. Probably be editing this video this evening though. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. There's gonna be way more of these uh, videos out here in France while I'm here. And I will catch you in the next video.